Hey everyone, so uh, leverage, we've all heard about leverage and a lot of people asking, you know, what does it do and why, why be scared of it? A lot of people warn against it. So here's the eToro home screen. Look how nice and glossy it is. Blue, big picture of a mobile, everything seems simple and lovely. Then down at the bottom here, there's this quite important little statement. Now this, eToro wouldn't have put this little statement here if they didn't have to by European law. So there's ESMA, ESMA. Uh, they introduced regulations Europe recently, um, where, um, making sure that all the trading platforms and exchanges and brokerages sort of make themselves transparent. They have to warn the public about certain things. That's what this is. It says CFDs are complex instruments and come with a high risk of losing money rapidly due to leverage. 65% of retail investor accounts lose money when trading CFDs with this provider. Hey. So what's a CFD? Every time on eToro, every time we make a trade using leverage, it turns that trade into a CFD, which is uh, something you can trade. We'll get to what that is later on. But you should consider whether you understand how CFDs work and whether you can afford to take the high risk of losing your money. That's a very stark warning. That's not, um, that's not a small thing for them to have to put there. You know, It's quite serious. So a lot of people ask, you know, what's leverage and uh, why is it so risky? So is leverage sort of, you know, bad? Is it evil? No. Is it magic? No, no. Is it? All it is, is it's a way of amplifying your trade sizes. So you have, if you have $100 and you use times five leverage, it's like you're trading with $500, you know? Um, the problem with that, what's the problem? It's because when we're new, we don't know what we're doing, all right? So there's two main things which affect traders, really, and how they trade. Uh, the big sort of stimulators tend to be greed, I want to make lots of money. We all have it. And fear. I don't want to lose my money. All right. Now, fear, when mixed with a lot of leverage, can lead to blind panic rather than just fear. All right. So let's go. Let's try Amazon, uh, for instance. I'm on my uh, trade markets page. So here, look, we've just signed up. We see Apple. I mean, I've heard of that, but I don't know what, you know, what it's about if I'm new. Uh, Litecoin, we see, look, cryptos and things. There's Google, there's Facebook, I've heard of them. This is lovely, everything looks colorful, everything looks clean and friendly. Um, and it can be a bit deceptive. So let's go to Amazon. I've, I've typed in Amazon and I go to it here. So when we're new, if I go to, this is the price of one Amazon stock, 1,758. I can go to the trade screen here, a little button, big button says trade, and I can place my trade. Now, I haven't got this much money as it shows here. I'm in my virtual account. Uh, which you can go to here, just trade between virtual and real, just because I'm going to make some dummy trades and show you what leverage will do. Um, and I wanted to sort of uh, be able to make that and not have to worry about losing lots of money. Here's Amazon. I go to the trade screen and here's where we can simply buy stuff. It all looks very, very simple. And here, there's some buttons. So here's the place where I can see the amount that it costs. Amazon is currently $1,762 for one share of Amazon. All right, let's say I go to another one. Let's say I go to Netflix. Um, they all show that number in the top left. So Netflix is 294 for one share. Uh, Facebook is currently um, 142.14. You see the number changing? It's because the markets are live. These are live numbers, you know? So everything has its own number, its own price for one share. So in the trade screen, that's what that is. That's the current price for one share. This, the amount, is the amount of money I'm about to uh, place a trade with. I want to place a trade for $500. Stop loss is an automatic thing where if I lose this much, get me out of the trade. You can set it before the trade or you can change it whilst you're trading. Take profit is the other way around. I want to make, I'm going to make this amount of profit, automatically cut it off when I make this much money. By default, it's setting that as 50% of my size and this one also is 50% of the amount of money I'm putting in. Here's the leverage button, all right? Leverage times one. Times one means I'm not using any leverage at all. Times one, they, it just means I'm not using leverage. Times two, I'm using two times leverage. So watch the units change, 0 0.28 units. Times two, 0 0.57 units. I'm buying double the amount. Times five, 1.42 units, okay? So it's times one times five is five times that, 1.42 units. Here, if I click times 10, it won't let me do it. It's because Europe put in uh, regulations recently, uh, again, those ESMA rules, you can search it, ESMA trading rules or something, and they limited the amount of uh, leverage that new people can use to try and stop this problem of new people using too much leverage, panicking, 
and just wiping out their accounts. The majority of new traders apparently using leverage blow their accounts, just lose all their money. Terrible thing. So here, if I want to use enable high leverage trading, I have to click continue. I have to answer a bunch of questions which prove that I know how to trade or have some financial training. And then I can use the high leverage if I satisfy those requirements. I don't, so I'm going to go back. So I can use times one, times two, times five. If I was trading Forex, like um, sterling against the currency pairs, uh, I can use different amounts of leverage. They, uh, indices, different amounts of leverage. It depends on the asset. They'll have different amounts of leverage available to each. Okay, And it usually depends how volatile something is. So the more something moves up and down, that different things a different volatile. They move up and down in during the day or the week or the month. They're different, you know. So stocks are very volatile. They move up and down a lot naturally. So they will only let you amplify that by smaller amounts, you see, because that's what leverage does. If you're winning, you will win much faster. If you're losing, you will lose much faster. The velocity of how fast you win or lose gets higher the higher leverage you use. And this is the problem for new traders, all right? So Let's say I go back to Amazon, and I'm going to go here. This shows you the statistics for Amazon. This is Amazon's trading page. This shows you their chart, all right? Now, on the chart, um, it shows you, I can click this, and I've set it to one day. So each of these little, what they call candles, these little bars, is shows one day of activity. Where it's red, it means it went down in value. It started at the top of the candle and went down in value over the day. Where it's green, it started at the bottom of the candle, and it went up in value over the day, okay? So, do you, as a newcomer, knew how, know how to read these charts? I know I did. I had no idea, all right? You can change this one day. You can have one-minute charts, or you can have 15-minute charts, or you can have one-week charts. I didn't know how to read these charts when I came in, and most new people don't, all right? So, what happens? The problem is that I would use... See how this line goes up? It doesn't go up completely straight, does it? It sort of goes up, then down, then up a bit, then down, 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 then up, then down, then up, then down, up, then blah, 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 blah. It's generally going up, but it doesn't get there in a straight line. Now, an experienced trader who studied what they call technical analysis, which is looking at these charts and understanding the way things move, because there are patterns in how things move and why people buy and sell at certain times. If you study technical analysis, you'll know. If you haven't, you're going to look at these charts and it's like, it's like tossing a coin. I don't know. You'd be right 50% of the time, so why not, you know? Why not is because the really experienced people aren't just flipping a coin, okay? They understand generally how things move, you see, and they'll be able to sort of predict. So if they buy Amazon here and it starts dropping, they won't just, oh my God, sell it and panic. It causes a great deal of panic to be seeing your money dropping very quickly, very suddenly. And that panic can make you close the trade when you shouldn't. You should hold it open, maybe. This is not investment advice. But maybe, hypothetically, you should hold it open and then the price will go back up and you'll make lots of money. But, okay, I opened earlier on three trades in Amazon, okay? The time is now uh, roughly, it's just after four o'clock, okay? So I opened these three Amazon trades to sort of show this effect, all right? So at 3.30, I opened that one for 500. Same time exactly, 3.30, I opened that one for 500. 3.30, same time, I opened that one for 500. This one here, the top one, has no leverage on it, times one leverage, this one here. The second one, I've put times two leverage on that one, this one here. This one here, I've put times five leverage on it, okay? This one is five times five leverage. You can see it in the units. Times one got me 0 0.28 units, times two got me 0 0.56 units, and times five got me 1.41 units, all right? This is just... I opened these maybe just over, a bit over half an hour ago. The first one has lost 396. The times two leverage has lost 790. The times five leverage has lost 1896. See it changing, 1933, all right? So this really, this is like just over half an hour ago. And you can see the difference in how much they're losing. Now, obviously there are certain fees associated with trading, which I'll go into in the next video. Um, but most of this is because Amazon has gone down in value since I opened it. And you can see that all of these are $500. I've spent the same amount on each one. But because I use leverage, this one times two, it's like I'm trading with $1,000. This one times five, it's like I'm trading with $2,500. Five times five, $2,500. So there we are, it's dropped more. Now this effect, 
But when you're a new trader, when I was new, because I did this a lot with gold when I started, which is highly volatile. When you see yourself losing money too quickly, the temptation is to panic because you don't know what's going to happen next. You don't know if it's going to go up or down. You don't know what charts mean. You don't know how to read that stuff. So you can close the trade when you really should hold it open for like another two hours. In two hours time, it might go up. But by panicking and closing it, you start to lock in losses and you lock in more. Then you, I, I was trying to trade bigger to get that back. And you start chasing your losses, greed and fear and greed and fear. And it's very easy to wipe out your account. So that is why uh, they, they caution against leverage. Um, it's not because there's anything wrong with leverage. It's because the combination of leverage and not knowing what's happening is dangerous. Leverage and knowing what's happening, fine. But in the beginning, to use it before you know what's happening, it's, 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 it's dangerous. Um, because of your emotions, because of your reactions, to when the market turns against you, really. So, uh, there's those three. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and break this up because you know there'll be a lot to digest. So in the next video, what I'm gonna talk about is the fees. So we have the spread fees, which are charged on all trades. But over here, you can see that Amazon, the times one just says Amazon. The times two and the times five both say CFD next to them. Why is that? So what's a CFD? And what are the other fees associated with uh, using leverage? There's the general emotional risk and panic and fear that comes with using leverage. But what are the fees that are also associated with it? All right, so I'll discuss those in the next video. See you.